and yes i am on a meat run but if i lose a couple because i got that little small hook on there it's just sportsmanship gamemanship i'm being game so i went ahead and cut the camera on so you know these rascals may start biting in certain areas that i'm not anticipating them biting on so i just wanted to turn it on just so we'll have that footage going already okay all right i'm going to show you the setup once i get everything in the water See? Yank! See? Yank! What in the world is this? Oh my goodness, what is this? It's got to be a bass. This has got to be a bass. Yeah, it is a bass. See what I'm talking about? Look at this. Look, guys, my nine footer. Look, that's my nine footer. And that's why I went ahead and turned the camera on so you guys can see. Because I'm liable to catch in places that I don't normally catch at. Look at that, man. Well, look, watch this. I want, I want you guys to see this. Watch me lift this rascal with this nine foot pole. Man, look at that. I lift that rascal with a nine foot pole. Let me show him to you. Yeah, y'all know I am nowhere remotely interested in a bass, okay? Let's let this one go. Look, that's that nasty bend middle hook, that 22 karat gold plated. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's release this rascal. This is when you catch the big one. Okay, so I'm just giving you guys a warning. Listen, you don't have to go out there and guess what's going on. All you have to do is just tune into my channel. Okay, that's, that's simply all that you have to do is just tune into my channel. And you will know how to fish for crappie or thereabouts. Okay, it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of what I'm doing as to how you can catch fish as well. Night, night, and... I'm tipping with the minnow. And what we're going to find out today we're going to find out which do they prefer. Okay? The two emerald right here in the front, these are my Cam's emerald magic sticks. Emerald obviously because they're green. And On the other four poles that I'm putting out right now, which is my nine footer, my yank stick. There we go. And, and this is what we're going to do. They're going to run like this, guys. One night they may be one in one particular spot. The next night they may be somewhere else because they're chasing bait fish. Okay? And it is your job to figure out what they're doing. That's your job. Okay, there's, sometimes they'll tell you, sometimes they won't. Sometimes you'll find them, some nights you won't. Okay, let me show it to you again. That's that white knight. I'm going to tip it with a minnow. I'm going to turn the light on. Look at this. Oh, man, they're already starting to hit. They're already starting to hit. Now, that was a hit on a minnow. I can tell the difference in a big one and a small one. When the big one hit, it's gone. It doesn't bobble. It doesn't bobble at all. Look at this. Look at this. I dropped that one in the water just a second ago. Dropped it in the water. Look at that. I just dropped it in the water and we got hit. This is the one I was supposed to be getting ready to, to fix. Because it didn't have any batteries in it. Guys, this is an 11-inch crappie. Perfect size to take home. Perfect size to take home. Okay? They're in big water. Look, you, you can see how far we are away from the bank. That's all they're doing is chasing bank fish. I mean bait fish. That's all they're doing. And that was caught on that white knight. That white knight with the orange head. Okay? Let's let him go. We're not keeping. Look, I want to show you guys this. This is strange. I don't even have a bobber on it. It was just in the water. I was getting ready to put you guys on hold. <laughs> when you're trolling, you cannot turn away for a minute. I'm not even finished getting set up yet. That's six out, guys. 
two on the far end are nine footers. Those are my nine foot yank sticks. The two next end are my orange for sighting. And in the middle here, in the middle, I can tell the difference between a small one and a big one. In the middle are the emeralds. Okay, you can get all these at camscrappyhole.com. When I get ready to do a cutaway, you guys will see it. And listen, every year about this time, I do the same style of fishing. I have to fish in the eve in twilight. Every year. Even though I'd love to film early in the afternoon, but it seems to be that the crappie are running because they're, chas they're chasing bait fish this time of the year. That's just the way it is. Look at that. And these are, these are definitely small ones that are pulling at it. Sometimes when I'm looking the other way, I, I just happen that peripheral out of my eye, I can see the rod bending or the rod moving. Sometimes I, whenever I snap my head, I may not even look at the bobber. I just grab the pole that is, that is running. See that? See how he took the minnow off? I can tell the difference. But a big one, big crappie, big guns, the hubcaps, they don't play like that. They come along and they clean your clock. Now you guys saw that little tap tap. Now watch what happens when we get a hold to a nice one. Watch, you're gonna see the difference. They're definitely over here. And again, we're not quite dark yet. Once that, that darkness sets in, they go crazy. But I wanted to come out here and see if I could film a little bit, catch a couple of them. Too long to do this cutaway. I want to say thank you guys for joining me again. Uh, I want to do this cutaway so I can give you the specs. You can hear the wind starting to pick up. We're at that time of the year right now where things are kind of funky. You can go out one day, you got on shorts. Next day, you got on a hoodie. We're just at that time of the year, okay? And that still goes for the fish. If the weather is up and down, which is what it is here down here in Georgia, uh, if the weather's up and down and confused, the fish are confused, okay? That's just the way that it is, okay? So you saw me on the video, the style that I'll be doing. As the water temperature goes down, the bigger crappie are going to come out. Before I get into all my specs, I want to tell you guys something. I want to say thank you so much for the love and support you guys have shown uh, Cam's Crappie Hole in in 2023 it will be eight years we've been doing this eight years so some of you guys come on you guys may see me on instagram you guys may see me on facebook you'll be like hey man we see you selling stuff but we'll never see you catching stuff you guys got to catch up to me i've been catching now for eight years all year long from january all the way to december all year long i catch crappie okay so i want to welcome you guys aboard a lot of times what happens is when people do Instagram, they strictly stay with Instagram. They don't go to any other platform. People do YouTube, they stay with YouTube. Guys, I'm running six, seven different platforms all at once. Okay? So you'll see me quite often in different platforms and I may show different material uh, at certain times of the day. Okay. Let me get into what style of fishing that I'm getting ready to do. Remember, I want you guys to remember this. To make this a key note. If you're not catching any crappie during the day, it's possible you, they may be feeding at night. They're getting ready to conceive. I'm going to try to slow down. I'm trying to talk fast because of all the noise in the background. Crappie are getting ready to conceive, which means that the females have got to put on weight. Okay, they're going to conceive in December. They're going to carry those eggs December, January, and February, and they're going to drop, which is pre-spawn, spring. Okay, so they need to chase bait fish. They need to eat shad. And if you notice, whenever you catch a crappie now, this time of the year, look at their stomachs. Their stomachs are going to be puffy. They're trying to put on weight. Okay, so the key note is, if you're not having any luck in the daytime, try at twilight. You guys have got to learn to start adjusting your game it's not always going to be the same thing where you caught them last year they may roam a little bit i got a few buddies right now they're calling me cam is it time cam is it time cam is it time that's just what i'm rolling through right now let me see if i can pull you up just a little bit to make sure you guys can get me real good okay let me show you the bobbers that i'm using okay some of you guys may call them corks some of you guys may call them stoppers whatever you decide to call them you can get these at the big box store okay they rattle so if you're not looking you can hear them they light up, okay? They come with batteries, okay? And I probably buy two dozen of these a year. You can hear them. They're rattling. has BBs on the inside of them, okay? So I'm fishing at twilight. I fish sometimes all the way up to about 9, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, depending on how they're biting, okay? So 
That's the bobber that I'm using. Let me show you the setup. Let's see. Which one am I going to show you? Okay. You guys saw me catching with my orange. This, this right here, some of you guys don't even know, so I guess I need to intro it. This is my orange Poseidon. Okay, you'll find it at Cam's Crappy Hole. You'll see it right, right down there. The orange Poseidon. Split, EVA split grip, soft to the touch. Okay, super conductor. All of my rods, so I won't have to say it again, all of my rods are carbon fiber. We don't use graphite, guys. We don't use composite. Okay, I mean, I designed this all the way down to the, to the hook holder. You can see right here. This is the orange Poseidon. Ceramic guides. You can see the color coordination. Matter of fact, the, the rod is matte orange and the bottom is shiny. Okay, this EVA soft grip will last you forever. You got a Fuji reel seat, guys. It's a 6.6. You'll see me use it on the boat, okay? This is what I was running. Matter of fact, this is the actual, one of the actual rods. You can see the bobber on there. You see that? Okay. You can see the distance. Matter of fact, I need to show that to you guys, too. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. You see how far the bobber is up from, from, from the plastic? About two and a half, th about three feet. You have to determine where they are in your body of water okay you have to determine that let me show you what I was using this is that white knight okay with that orange jig head okay it's a stinger shad you can see that white in there let me see if I can show you see, see those that glitter in there I'm tipping this with a minnow so in other words I'm hooking it right right into the lips this way so when I'm trolling in the water the minnow is swimming this way the tail along with the stinger shad okay and let me tell you something when you get a hit from a big one, you better hold on. You better make sure your knot is tight. You better make sure that your rod is, is true. Because those 16, 17 inch crappie will hit and they don't play. Yank! You better be ready. Okay? If your knot is, ain't tight, it's going to slip. So you better make sure you got a rod that can handle them. And let me tell you this. The reason why you want an ultralight. This is very important. You heard me say that on the film. If you have a rod that is too strong, the backbone kicks in too fast, you're pulling, he's pulling, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna rip a hole right in their mouth and they're gone, okay? You don't want a rod that is that has a stiff backbone, a bass rod, you don't wanna be in trouble, okay? So that's why I designed these reels with a one, with a, um, a five to one ratio, okay? And I designed the reel to reel slower Plus, these are ultralights. All of these, all of my rod and reels are designed to catch crappie, which is the number one panfish in the country, and, and, and other shell crackers, brim, bluegill, all of those, okay? So that's what I was running, the white knight with that nasty bend hook, 1 16th. Some of them had, I had a 1 8th on, okay? Look at that, that's the hook holder, okay? This is the orange Poseidon. And on the other one, guys, on one of the other ones, I was running my emerald, okay, with just one of my slow death hooks. Let me show it to you. I still got the bobber on there. Let me see if I can show you the bobber. See the bobber, okay? Let me show you the slow death. I was, I'm running one out. I always run one out hooks, okay? And by the way, this is Cam Split Shot. If you go into the store and you don't have Split Shot reusable ones, come see me. Just go to Cam's Crappy Hole. Listen, all you have to do is sit right there in the comfort of your own home. I'm showing you how my stuff works. I've been doing this for eight years now, okay? I got 130 something rods on the market. And by the way, since I mentioned that, I wanna say thank you guys. I couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you so much. We are approaching 10,000, our 10,000th order booked and shipped in the next three months. 10,000 orders. That's incredible. That's a, that's a real, that's epic to me, okay? But I couldn't do it without you guys. Hooks, split shots, Rod, reels, I got everything. Plastics, all that you saw, they belong to Cam's Crappy Hole, okay? I've been doing this over the years because I'm a good, all I do is, all I do is perfect crappy fishing. And when I do good, I try to pass it along to you guys. What I'm using at the drop of a dime. Hooks, plastic split, split shots, everything, okay? And by the way, I want to tell you guys this. Everything that you see me here, you will see it right below in the description of this video, okay? All you got to do, I, I provided the hyperlink. All you got to do is click. It'll take you to the website. It'll take you to the item. Two clicks in your cart, and you're ready to go. Listen to this. Also, I am the only cat that manufactures all these products and come to you guys bi-weekly, weekly, sometimes twice a day. And I have a finance company called Afterpay in one of my stores, camscrappyhole.com. 
and in the other store I have shop pay no interest no credit check and you get to check out like you normally do with your debit or credit card I'll break everything that you see your entire cart everything in my store is financed you can finance it. okay everything and I'll break it up into bi-weekly four bi-weekly payments I don't know what else you need that's that slow death hook look at it let me show it to you that's that slow death hook man it's wicked that's what I'm running so some of my polls guys I'm tipping with with a uh, stinger shad my cam stinger shad and by the way that white knight you can only it's an exclusive of cam you can't get it nowhere else okay uh, I created those plastics all right that's the emerald by the way I didn't even show that to you that's the other rod that I was running this is my cams magic stick this is the emerald same EVA split grip okay and this reel here comes pre-spooled professionally so if you're one of those guys that don't like to spool your line your, your reel don't worry about it it's already included in here okay three ball bearing the other one the orange Poseidon has seven this one has three but this one's pre-spooled it's color coordinated okay matte finish here look shiny glossy finish here okay this is my emerald six six I'm running six six because it gives me a little bit more control let me let me kind of get a, give you a metaphor that I help you understand and then we're going to get back to fishing if you're shooting a rifle you can get longer distance control with a longer longer uh, gun right I hate to talk about guns but if you got a pistol you can't shoot that far shorter the rod the less distance you can get longer the rod the further distance you can get okay I want you guys to remember that okay all right so I'm running some minnows and I'm running some stinger shad tip with a minnow the key is when I'm trolling the crappie will come up behind that stinger shad because that stinger shad allows them they see it in the water and they smell that minnow pow that's it that's all it takes let me let me explain something to you guys I think a lot of you guys some of you guys are intimidated by this is my yank stick you'll see me fishing with my yank stick as, as well this is my cams 10 foot yank stick it comes with a reel okay a seven ball bearing reel super super light okay same EVA split grip more contact to your hand means you can feel everything that's going on in, in the pole and yes it is it is carbon fiber okay I mean this 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 long rod excuse me is more versatile than those casting rods I can spider rig with this guys I can jig with this and I can troll with this okay that's the advantage that these long rods listen if you want to become a crappy fisherman year-round you're going to have to increase your arsenal that's just part of, of, of what it is okay because all year the crappy aren't going to do the same thing all the time so you have to diversify you have to be able to try new things guys if you think that you only catch crappie in the spring and that you're satisfied with that cool you got the casting rod that's when you cast and retrieve okay but if you like catching them late summer when they're holding tight to structure trunk trunk tree trunks branches you're going to need a jigging pole fall right now you see I'm trolling the lower this water temperature gets the more aggressive these fish you want to become that's why when you catch one right now you'll see they're, they're running they're very aggressive because that water's cold okay 80% of you guys think you only catch crappie when the water temperature is cold listen just visit right down there camscrappyhole.com and a lot of you guys hadn't figured out yet but my my oldest brother he has his series sevens license I'm sorry series seven yes yeah, series sevens license and he's a financial advisor so he tells me what's going on guys our economy right now is in a little bit of a struggle you better know how to fish okay you can catch your own fish a lot of you cats, cats even take it further you better learn how to grow your own food once you have it nobody can take it away from you don't be intimidated by these and I also have the, this is a 10 footer what's the difference between a 9 and a 10 foot obviously the length this is a 10 footer because it's white faded to blue and this is my nine footer which you can see the bobber you can hear the bobber on it right now it's white faded to red this is my nine foot yank stick you can see the color coordinated okay the red reel to match the red tip okay you can only get these at cam's crappy hole you want to finance it no problem whatsoever listen at checkout the only thing that's due let's say if this rod and reel is, 50, is $200 the only thing that's due at checkout is $50 once you pay that fifty dollars, we ship it out to your two-day air. It's on the way. Okay, vertical jigging, uh, trolling, and also spider rigging. You can do all that with this. With that six-six, you can't do that. Okay, you can't vertical jig with a six-six. You can, but you know, you got to get out there. Okay, because crappie are very spooky. So, 
I wanted to show, show this to you guys so you'll be able to see it. Why do you want carbon fiber with my Yang sticks? Come here, I'm, I'm going to show it to you real quick. I'm going to show you. Why you, want a, why you want a yank stick? Let me pull you up. Both of these are 10 footers. Both of these are 10 footers, right? Look at the play in this rod. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Look at all that play. Where's the backbone? Look, this is, the fi this is my cam's ca carbon fiber. You see how fast that recovers? You see that? You see how fast that recovers? Look, let me show them side by side. Look at that. You see, this, this, how are you going to control a three-pound crappie with this? You're not going to be able to do it. You can't do it. Okay, this is one of the most popular rods that's on the market today. And by the way, this is graphite. This is carbon fiber. That's why you want to choose my cam, my cam's yank stick. That's why you want it. Yank! You'll see me all the time on my videos. Okay? That's why you want carbon fiber. Okay, because the economy right now is very, very funny. I can tell. Listen, you, all you have to do, I'm going to have it right down there in the description. All you have to do is just click the hyperlink. You can get these 25% off with the code, with the code WHITE25. That's my Stinger Shad. Look at that tail. You see that tail? That's what makes it look like it's alive. Look at that glitter on the top. You see that? Okay. That's, that's, the, that's the White Knight, which is an exclusive of Cam. And this is right here called the Spring Milk. This is an exclusive of Cam's too. This is 30,000 pieces right here. Okay. Look at that. Monkey milk and chartreuse. Everybody knows that chartreuse is notorious for catching crappie. Look at that tail, how you can't make it sit still. Look at that monkey milk, okay? That's 30,000 pieces here, and that's 30,000 pieces of the white knight. Both of these are exclusive, is an exclusive of cams. You can't get it nowhere else but here, okay? So listen, let's get back to fishing. 25% off of a 40-pack here, 25% off a 40-pack here. You'll see it at the top left or right-hand corner. All you got to do is go to camscrappyhole.com. Yank! Oh man, these are small ones. These are small ones. Here we go. Here we go. Small one again. You can feel it. I can feel the difference. This is the orange Poseidon. This is the orange Poseidon. Well, sometimes you can tell. Let me feel the motor. Look at that rod. See, that's why you want an ultralight, guys. You see, if you get a, a rod that's powered too much, you're pulling, he's pulling, guess what's going to happen? Nice crop. Nice crop. It's 12 inch crop. Oh man, that's why I have the net, but I tried to call it hit it. Nice crop. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know what it is about that. Let me show it to you. Why that white knight produces big, big crappie all the time. Healthy crappie. Been feeding on shad already. You can see it. Been feeding on shad. They're healthy. They're getting ready. Let me tell you what's going on. They're getting ready to get fat because they're getting ready to conceive, okay? They're going to carry their eggs from December, January, February, and they drop. Now you're back in pre-spawn. Let's let this one go. We're not keeping. 